What's up guys, this is a July 2017 edition of Motown Mail with Maddie Mo, three months old. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Minnie Mo is sitting over here, <laughs> this dry erase board. I'm not going to show him unless I have to because Maddie Mo is the star of the non-certified slash TTM videos. So we can't get you more screen time than what's in your contract. <laughs> this, is, this video is not going to work. Here. The princess, of course, is... Not home, so <laughs> daddy duty times two kids again, but it's awesome. Maddie Mo, like I said, is three months old now. She's pretty cool. She does smile. She's a little smiley baby. Can you smile? <laughs> Can you smile for the camera? <laughs> so she's getting big. It's pretty amazing that she's three months old. Um, <laughs> oh. Yeah, fun one. And there goes all the cards. Uh. And there goes, nope, 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 absolutely not. Absolutely not. Nope, nope, not that one either. Nope. Nope. <laughs> For all you people that, <laughs> you know what? I don't even know if they're showing many more there, but. Are you people that are not parents yet? This is what you could look forward to. Man, there goes the camp glass camera. Restart the video. I could restart the video. But I want to show what parenthood is really like. And it's this, huh? <laughs> Minimo has tears streaming down his little two year old face and eyes and go play with the toys because his tantrum is coming to an end. And he's fine now. So um, these were in order. They are no longer in order. Um, so let's show these off. Um, I already had this card I showed you guys a couple months ago. Got it slapped by PSA headbutt DNA. Here, let's uh, <laughs> flip it around like this, huh? There you go. Oh, I'm not sweating, which is amazing. I'm cool as a cucumber right now, but uh, that'll end very quickly. Um, got this slapped by PSA DNA. I'm pretty sure this is the most expensive autograph I have in my entire collection now. It's the 1976 Tops rookie card of sweetness, Walter Payton. Now in a PSA DNA slab. You look on eBay, there's not a single one of these available. At least there wasn't a couple weeks ago. Pretty sure there's not. So that is an awesome card. Definitely one of my favorites in my entire collection. And like I said, probably the most valuable. So very happy to get that slab put in a cardboard prison for lifetime imprisonment. Um, but I wanted to protect it and whatnot. So, also got this slab. I'm actually kind of surprised they slabbed it. Um, I know it's real, but I just figured they wouldn't slab it. I don't know why. Um, Wilt Chamberlain cut. It's on like a yellow index card. It says Peace Wilt Chamberlain, so that looks nice in the PSA DNA prison. And next, this is the card I bought for a quarter at a card show. The 2001 uh, Appalachian League top prospect card of Yadier Molina and that's in a slab now and I probably will sell that because that's a pretty sought after card. Alright moving on to TTMs. This one's pretty cool. Uh, Al Michaels, the Hall of Fame broadcaster uh, called the 1980 um, uh, Miracle on Ice they beat the Soviets. I got this really cool 8x10, printed it out, put two Philip. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! Al Michaels. So I thought that turned out really cool. A little bit different. Kind of cool. Like it a lot. Uh, I'm gonna put her down. So I make sure, I'll probably show her at the end of the video because you gotta show Manny Mo's progress. She's beautiful. I wish she would smile right now. <laughs> Can you smile? I'll 
try it again at the end of the video so you guys don't have to go through the uh, parenting uh, uh, segment of the video. All right, now we're just doing cards till. And now she's smiling. Fantastic. All right, these are the TTMs that I got. Um, well, these are all mixed up now. Unreal. Um, oh boy, there it is. All right, TTMs I got. Sorry, this is a really long video. Uh, this is really cool. I sent this straight to uh, the Bears headquarters right after it got drafted, or shortly thereafter. So in 2017, Panini Connetters draft picks card of second overall pick, Mitchell Trubisky, and I got it back. Turned out really cool. Very happy with that. Also signed it in blue, which is awesome. So very happy with that. TTM success. No, honey. Um, next, had a TTM success from Joe Torrey. This is actually two different <coughs> successes. You can't do that, buddy. You can't do that, okay? You can't do that, bud, okay? Um, <laughs> Joe Torrey, two different successes, two cards in both returns. Uh, first off, this 2006 Allen and Ginter and 1966 Tops turned out fantastic. That Ginter looks amazing. So I got those two. And I got this 1970 Tops and a 1962 uh, Tops Braves backstops. So that was really cool. One of those took like a year and a half, the other one took like eight or nine months. So. Those came actually back on the same day, so it's nice to get those two returns. Minnie Mo is rocking Matty Mo in the swing very violently. I gotta watch him. Um, next, Commissioner Ma <coughs> Commissioner Manfred signed all three of my cards that I sent. Um, careful, including two of the new 2017 Tops Archives cards. Signed them in silver. Sign my in my um, autograph uh, signature card, and then you also sent a signed busyness card. Buddy, you can't do that. Come on. Okay. Can you go play with like your twenty-five thousand different toys? Go play with them. Thanks, bud. Um, next, this guy's a, a very good player. He's in AAA for the Phillies. Reese Hoskins signed this Topps Heritage Miners card. Next, Sandy Alcantara signed uh, two cards for me in, in one return. Yeah. And then signed another card in a different return. Different, uh, different request. Got too much going on here. It's going to be a 20, 25, 30 minute video and it should be like seven minutes. Um, next, I got... Uh, Chris Chambliss, who I've never actually gotten on cards before. I'm gonna capture this because you don't know if she's, how she's gonna be later on. So, I know most of you don't care, but this is for the princess's enjoyment, my enjoyment. Yeah. Oh yeah, really? What do you think? Gabba gabba goop. Gabba gabba goop. Mm. Oh my goodness, can you smile? Can you smile? Smile for the world. Done. Done. Great job. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Let's get back to cards. I, I For you people that tune in just for cards. Really? I apologize. But I kind of do and I kind of don't. Because what, my favorite part of the videos is the kids and watching their progression through life. Um, Chris Chambliss signed four cards for me. I did get them on an 8x10 years and years ago, but I never got them any cards for some reason. They got this really cool Upper Deck Masterpieces card, and three more cards. Uh, Ken Rudolph signed four cards for me, a 70 and a 71 tops, 75 and a 74. Rod Smith, former All-Pro receiver for the Broncos, signed four cards for me, including one of these unparalleled cards, which, which look really cool. So he signed that, and then he signed three more. And he sent like a business card with his uh, phone number, which I'll cover up. I guess he probably wants his phone number out there. He's a uh, business coach. 
Uh, next, uh, Dodgers Spanish Hall of Fame broadcaster uh, Jaime Harin signed four cards for me, including two signature cards. Uh, and a 66 Tops and a 2017 Tops Heritage. Signed him in pen. Wish he would have signed in Sharpie, but I'll take it. Really nice autograph. Uh, next, Charlie Hayes, former slugger, signed two cards for me. He's the hitting coach for Le the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. I already had the 90 score, and I haven't checked yet if that's an upgrade or not. But I got another one, and then a 1999 Tops as well. He is a strict two per person. Um, and said if he starts getting more than two per uh, request, then he is no longer going to be signing autographs. So he didn't tell me that. I read that somewhere. So, of course, I just sent two. Uh, next, Don Buford signed uh, four cards for me. One of them is already back out to another player. Uh, Don Buford, three of three. Uh, Carlos Baerga, this was kind of a cool return. I wasn't really expecting this back. Signed 4-4 four, four for me, including that 1993 Pacific Prism. And then I got two more. Boy, Manny Mo is a talking machine right now. I don't care, guys. Showing it. Showing it. What do you think? What do you think of the Carlos Baerga cards? You like them, don't you? You love them? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Alright. Back to the cardboard. <laughs> uh, next return from Paul Horning. Every time I take the camera, he starts, starts yapping again. Uh, two of two from Paul Horning. A lot of the boys saw at, uh, the, at the hotel bar. Wish I would have saw him. Uh, next, Lionel Holland signed four cards for me. Nice autograph and inscriptions on a couple of them. Next, uh, Mario Andretti signed three cards for me. There's a Golden Age, really funky looking autograph. Got a nice venture. And this one's really cool. This is a Motorsport Masters numbered one of 149. It's got like a canvas type texture on it. Pretty cool card. Uh, next, I got Phillies outfielder uh, Aaron Altair on four. There's two. And two more. Uh, next, I got Goose Gossage on one more. Can't ever have too many gooses. So I guess technically I have a lot of geese autographs, right? Uh, next, Will Clark. He usually signs in blue. I wish this would have been in blue. Maybe I'll try again. 2014 Ginter. Uh, next, Bud Harrelson on 4-4. Four, four, former Philly, former Mets manager. And that's it for TTMs. Now it's the other non-certified pickups. So all you TTMers, if that's all you're interested in, you can turn off the video because there's nothing else as far as TTMs. Uh, next, this is kind of a cool custom card. It's, um, a member on sportscollectors.net. I uh, forgot what. I think it was like Dartmouth. He was, you all right? He was an Ivy League school. Had uh, Theo Epstein as their... Um, as their speaker, and you know, getting a bunch of custom cards. I wish it was like full size. It's a little bit smaller than uh, full size, um, but Theo Epstein, like in disguise at Wrigley, um, it's kind of a cool. It was last year um, in his disguise. Theo Epstein. Thought it was kind of cool. It was it was pretty cheap, so I got it. Next, really excited about this 1994 pickup, Bernie Williams, who was a very tough autograph to get. So, been looking for that card for 12 years. Finally got it. Next, this is an upgrade. The Jason Grimsley I had before was signed in like dry silver. Now I got a nice, it's a black, yeah, black signature. So that's a nice upgrade I got on the cheap. Uh, next, I was in the Hall of Fame draft. Maybe most in the garbage. That's fantastic. <laughs> I know Josh appreciates his videos. Style style. But can you see Mo? Can you see Minnie Mo? Luckily, I just changed the garbage, so there's nothing in the paper bag. At least, I'm going to find out later, and there it goes, so. That's the, that's the highlight of that video. I didn't even see him bring the garbage over here. I mean, the, whole, the entire garbage can's over here. Anyway, it's in a Hall of Fame draft. Hall of Fame slash All-Pro slash All-Star draft. 
Uh, my first pick, very tough autograph to get. He's the first ever player diagnosed with uh, chronic, tra chronic traumatic encephalopathy, also known as CTE. Mike Webster, no longer with us. Um, uh, known as, you know, the, the Steelers center uh, back in the 70s when they were just dominant. Uh, unfortunately, it's a Chiefs card, but still has my first round pick. Didn't have an autograph of the Hall of Fame center, Mike Webster. Next Bears uh, linebacker, George Connor. Didn't have an autograph of him yet. Signed up there in the top left. Very nice. Mel Renfro, first autograph of Mel Renfro is my third round pick. Fourth round pick, didn't have an autograph of Hall of Famer Bobby Bell. Uh, fifth pick was this Dermonte Dawson, another Hall of Fame center. Um, already had his autograph, but this is an upgrade. Nice looking card. It's fairly expensive, just base card too. Kind of hard to find. Uh, Duke Snyder, who was sitting there in the fifth round, couldn't couldn't pass up Duke Snyder. It's a really cool uh, card about when the Dodgers moved from Brooklyn to Los Angeles. Um, I would have snagged this before. I thought I had a Brian McCann, and then I double checked. I did not. And this is actually his Bowman Heritage rookie card, signed in blue. It's a little hard to see, but I was very happy that it lasted until the uh, sixth or seventh round. Lost track now. Uh, Jeff Kent, I already had this exact card signed, but it wasn't a very strong signature. Now I got that one, which is a lot better. Adrian Gonzalez was sitting there in the late round. Couldn't pass up Adrian Gonzalez. Whitey Herzog, 88 tops. Didn't have an autograph of Greg Lloyd, so I picked that up. Troy Vincent, same situation. And Lee Smith. Harold Jackson. And Frank White. So that was kind of a cool draft. A lot of good names in there. Uh, next couple of... In-person autographs that I purchased on SCN. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. on two. Good young player. His dad is Fernando Tatis. Uh, next, Tristan McKenzie. First autograph of him. Very good uh, young pitcher in the Indians organization. Uh, next, the Pay It Forward thread on sportscollectors.net. Um, picked up three cards. I sent out three cards, four cards to other people. This is Dennis Martinez, 80, Dennis Martinez, El Presidente, 82 Donruss. Uh, Jason Garrett, all world pro set card. Obviously, coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Chase Anderson, who's with the Brewers now, is on the DL, but he's a really good young pitcher, having a good year this year. Next, when I was in Lansing, went to a card shop, picked up this in person autograph of former Blackhawk Doug Wilson. And lastly, yes, lastly, yeah, buddy. I don't even dump the garbage. Luckily, I just changed it, so we're in, we're in good shape. Yeah, thank you, Maddie Mo. Um, uh, B Mart Anime DVD 78 uh, hooked me up with a ton of in-person autographs. Here we got uh, Rafael Ortega on three. Didn't have his autograph yet. Uh, next, I think this guy's like the fourth-ranked prospect for the D-backs, uh, John Duplantier. Matt McPherson on like ten cards. Didn't have an autograph of him yet. Now I have ten. Not gonna show them all. Uh, Mitch Canham, didn't have him yet. And J.R. Bradley time, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. I'm not going to show them all, but 12 J.R. Bradleys. And lastly, a Braden Bishop, who is the Mariners' uh, third round pick in 2015. So that's it. That wasn't too bad. I have no idea how long this video was because it doesn't tell me on the screen. But I'm sure I've lost most of my viewers. My, my, my subscriber count seems to be going down all the time, and I'm sure it's because of my kids. But you know what? I don't really care because uh, I enjoy it. And uh, I'm going to look back years from now when my kids are, you know, 10 and 8 years old. And I'm just going to remember these hectic times. This isn't too bad because they're both pretty happy. But, um, yeah. So I don't care. I'm going to continue doing these. And... If my subscribers go down, if my views go down, then so be it. I don't care. Um, but this is what parenthood's all about. So, um, Minimo is in the toy room now, so that's cool. I don't hear him, which is bad. But he just dropped something, so I guess we're okay. Um, so that's it. Uh, Maddie Mo and Motown are going to sign off. Uh, I still got to do the certified autograph video with, with Minimo, which I'm sure he won't stay in my arms for more than 12 seconds. Um, not sure if I'm doing that video now or, or tomorrow, we'll see. Um, but uh, that's it. That's all we got for now. We want to thank you all for watching, and as always, please stay safe.